So here we'll still continue to add on the details to the blocking. So throughout the whole stage here, you see that I'll be putting the similar all those pillars and frames to and the windows to the main structure. So I'm gonna fast forward this part and then we'll look at the the next part and I'll explain about what can we do after detailing the block up in more details. Once I adding the details of the rails, the rails of your window. So now we look into details like certain parts of the building we, we probably need to separate them now as a separate piece and do different extruding to it. So in this case I will extract up particularly this, this part here, the wall. And um, I leave it as one piece because when that way when I want to do some Extrusion to create the requests, it will be more cleaner because I don't need to attach it to the main building. So there are times we we can choose to separate the face and do this way. So now I'm using H2 to add in the, the lines between. So I want to create the patterns where I can create bevel the lines 
to create classes. So in this case, we it's important to look at maybe a different camera angles to kind of gauge the the same distances. Like I'm not worried about adding in lines or moving lines to make it more balanced or maybe more equal. So it's just lines only. So in this case, we are pretty much comfortable in trying to adjust the, the design of it. So I'm explaining this in detail because there are times where you are be required to understand the reason why we extract things. Okay, so now rough the shapes there. So I'm gonna use the approach of beveling, selecting all the vertical lines in a while. So I'm looking at this. So I'm gonna push it inside. So what I'm gonna do is I'll either use, either use bevel or maybe I use edge loop again. So in this case, I think it's best to use edge loop. Then I can create two lines in between. It's pretty easy. Then we don't need to extrude our bevels. It's the same approach. So I'm showing different approach to certain ways of modeling and see which one you helps you to make things more convenience and more effective so adding the lines so over here and so one more line here so the issue I don't probably just put one more line but then um, it's easy for me just to select every single line between And then let's push it in. You quickly create something as similar to as true, but it's not as true. Okay, so I harden it. Then we have the solid shape that can slot in. Just nice to the building. There you go. So this seems to be only one area the side having this effect but the other side we also could use it so why this I just duplicate the same model so we can actually duplicate what we had done this is the why reason we use those so you extract because we can separate copies and we can duplicate the one from the left and then slot into the right so I will delete the original one first so once I delete them then slot in this side, slot this part inside and to replace it. So there you go, very easy, very fast. Modeling is about being effective, finding the best way to model faster. So I still continue adjusting. Now you never wrong to continue to adjust the shapes and mean the design because a lot of times when we model, we might not get 100% correct in the beginning. So we always have tweaking part, right? We continue looking at it and tweak. Okay, so what I do a bit more. Let's look at the sign board. And this is probably a bit more organic shape. But the approach I'm using is using the the way to make it more lines less. Smoothing will come later. So what I do is now I just want to add lines first, so not too many. Just connect the line maybe about three. And then vertically, let's create how much I will see that three might be okay, two will be nice. So there's two lines. So once I have this, it's easy for us now to use for that too to model the shape of the fish. Then with the fish logo, we kind of push it like that a bit. You can see the shape is a bit rounded. Okay, right. Okay, so there you go. And then, to me probably just, I still adjust it because I think they get more of the shapes more. There you go. Okay, 
Okay, so roughly the shape is there. Then we'll go back to our object to work that small again and to kind of make it the the back part here a bit more thinner. Now how do we use the the uh, smooth? Of course we gotta put it at high edges first. And then modify the thickness. Now if we go a to smooth at this, this time we'll probably not get the best result. But let's try to give it a bit rounded feel. Okay, so how, how do we go approach from here? Smooth is really adding, you no, know, making the polygons a bit more rounded, sure, but it's not high, just no, it goes to round. So, what you can do is after you round, you actually you re remove away the middle of the side there, there's a line. Then um, you can turn it back to high just again. And there you go. And maybe it's a little bit tweak here because some of the vertex a bit way off a bit. So I'll probably make it flat. There you go, scale. So again, highlight again. Using different camera view really helps to, to model things faster. Okay, so that's done. Okay, so looking at looking into at the moment. Please see there are quite a lot of location. Okay, so what are we looking at? So there's a lot of this again small details. Uh. Okay, over here, I also get one more. Do this so they have to do this. Okay, so you see I duplicate the one I did earlier. Make use of things that you model. Duplicating the asset. Keep using it and then you've saved a lot of modeling time. The approach is to train you guys to be effective in modeling because models need to be fast in any production in the future when you guys work in projects. Just take in mind that modeling should take the least time where you should spend more time on texturing and creating shaders and presentation for the, the models better because it should be the most basic job requirement if you should be able to do modeling the most basic so it's not a very high requirement but you do need to be a lot of what to what way switch way and also how to model with the right topology so now i'm just duplicating the stuff again and Keep using them. Keep using what you have, and that's the process. Because the more the more details it brings, right? The more high quality your your model will be. Well, because of the lighting that will just falls on the model itself, is very is very nice. Okay, this will be the counter. The shop counter is gonna push it a bit inwards. So the later when ammo stop we should add those items on top of the shelf. This one So looking okay, what the form of the models. Okay, so that's done I think. Over here we will notice this is also one area I should put use it also. And of course uh this one I have to make again now, so I'll, I'll extract the triangle polygon face and then from here we do we'll do the lines in between now. Okay, so we gotta cut maybe split the line half first. If we try to use each loop now, it's a problem, I'll show you one. So it should doesn't work on triangle. Okay, so you need to be two pentagonal lines uh, then you can connect the between two lines to create one line in between. So we have probably need to use a different tool. Sir. So look at this uh I was thinking of my multi-cut tool work. 
Okay, so let's try. So model cut tool helps to model in a way we can actually cut lines in between the shapes. So you see the shapes by cutting one line, the line will appear. Okay. Then from here, I can add on a few more. So if I try to use the H loop now. Okay, let's burst. Okay, create more segments to the left and right. Probably five is loose, more condensed. Okay. So now, we got lines ready. We can insert each loop, two lines between. In this case, because it's triangle, and one ring bevel will be better. Okay, let's use bevel. So bevel spice, we want it to bevel a little bit more closer. So when using the waist more, width and I'm thinking the segment should increase also. This one also done very easy. Same approach as the wall just now. But which I need to highlight here. So I sprint with this view. No one technique can use. So the technique is choose the face you want to, to modify, extract, and create effect on it. Use the hard edges, harder edges, to make things hard. Yeah, so put inside here. So I got one side done already. Adjust it for me. So left and right also have the me front and back. So the back, do we want copy? Replace the previous triangle face. There you go. Almost in close off. What else we need doing? The windows probably do later. I mean, the windows. I will choose the items to maybe explain a bit about how, how to model. But so far, you can see that details are starting to come in. The details are adding on again. Now I'm looking at the. Let's see the barrel looks interesting. So I can finish in one minute. So what I do is I connect. I'll probably use use. Connect. Maybe two lines between. That's pretty much okay. So the two lines are gonna kind of move it one to the up, one to the down. Use a little bit. Okay, we have this. Then click. Okay, shift, control, click. Then we have the whole row. So what we can do? is as true now because I want to create that bevel effect even in Japanese wood wooden barrel looks some similar like this then I was thinking about one more line on top here to make it bevel then I'll just scale it out and throw it back to earth 